Welcome back to the debate, as today we'll be talking about who's going to win the NL Central, one of the weakest divisions in the MLB. What do you think? I think it's going to be the Reds, because when the Reds are at their best, like right now, they're one of the best teams in baseball, as, as you can see. Elio De La Cruz has only been in the MLB for, the month, for a month, and he's already been making a huge impact on the team, as when he got there, they were like third or fourth, and now they're first, and they're nine games above 500. I think the Brewers will win the division. I think that the Reds have a bunch of unproven young players that have been putting the team on their back right now. And I think that if they fall off, then the whole team will fall off. And I think that the Brewers, I think they'll stay consistent. I think their veteran talent will come into play. And I think that they'll take the division. Um, I agree with Khalil. I do think the Brewers are going to take the uh, division because they have the most experience. And I think although the Reds are a very streaky team, I do think they are going to fall off at one point because they, they have a lot of young stars that are putting the team on their back. Yeah, the Brewers, they started off very hot and then they slowed down a little bit, but they've still they've been on a little bit of a plateau lately. They haven't been going downhill. They haven't been going uphill. I think if they stay on that straight line, I think – the Reds have been going like this, and at one point it's going to have to flatten out or go downhill. So I, I just think the Brewers will win. It. I'm going to have to disagree with you on the staying at the same part because the Brewers got swept by the A's and the Tigers, two of the worst teams in baseball. And the Reds have been doing the same thing, but they've been on the higher edge of it recently, whereas the Brewers have been like when they're on that like plateau, they're just around a 500 team. And the, when the Reds are at their highest, they're not as bad. They're, all right, so we have some breaking news from Cincinnati and Houston. The Reds have decided to trade first baseman Joey Votto to the Astros for veteran first baseman Jose Abreu. How do you feel about this trade for the Reds and the Astros? Um, I actually think this benefits the Reds because Jose, Jose Abreu is uh, more of a power hitter that they need in, to balance out the rest of their order. I like this trade a little bit more for the Reds. I think it's it's veteran first baseman for veteran first baseman. But I think I have more trust in Jose Abreu coming into play and performing better than Joey Votto, who's been pretty inconsistent over the past few years. i also going to have to say that I think this benefits the Reds more and this gives them a better chance to win the division because Jose Abreu started off the year slow. But for the past month or so, he's been very good and a key piece to the Astros and why they're good right now. And Joey Votto, he just – hasn't been that good since 2021. For the Astros, I don't know why they would make this trade. They're just trading the guy that they just signed to a contract this offseason, Jose Abreu, for Joey Votto, who's been mediocre yeah. at points throughout the last few seasons. So I don't know what they were really thinking because they're basically just trading an old first baseman for a Another old first baseman who's just worse. Maybe they want more lefties in the lineup, but I don't really know. I don't really know what's what the point of that was. Maybe maybe he just like like uh, fit fit like their needs. I guess I he was like a utility player that they needed. All right, so that'll do it for the debate. Oh, and we have some more breaking news. The Astros again. They are selling at the deadline. The Astros have sent. Alex Bregman and Jose Altuve to New York for Isaiah Kiner Valefa and Josh Donaldson. What were they thinking? They go, sec they go. They're two of their biggest franchise pieces, who have won them titles and for two for a medi for Isaiah Kiner Valefa, who is a terrible hitter, and Josh Donaldson, who is one of the most who is a washed third Yankees third baseman. What were the Astros thinking? I completely agree with you here. I mean, Josh Donaldson himself said that he thinks he's not the same as he was. And Alex Bregman, he has been decent this year. And Jose Altupe, when he's healthy, he's been hurt some. But when he's healthy, he's a good player, like right now. And Isaiah Kiner for left ball is only good in this field. And literally, he's nothing compared to Jose Altupe. And same with Donaldson to Bregman. This is a great trade for the Yankees. I actually don't know what the Astros were thinking, trading away a, a, a decent def defensive player to get in return a washed up player. And at shortstop, they're getting a defensive player who's pretty good, but they but can't hit at all. They're ba they basically just traded their whole infield. Jose Abreu, Jose 
uh, Jose Altuve and Alex Bregman have all been traded in just a matter of minutes. I don't know what's, what's happening right now. All right, that'll do it for the debate. That was some breaking news, some, some big trades before the deadline by the Astros, and that'll do it.